you know what? I, I can't do this anymore. No, no, I, I, I can't. I, I don't, I don't want to lie to you anymore. Yeah, I have been. Oh, believe me, I have been. You have no idea. Yeah, um, it's a good thing we're sitting. <laughs> I, I have some things to tell you, and I don't think you're going to be very happy, and you're probably not ever going to want to see me again when I do, so, um, I should probably just, just do it. Well, you know, <laughs> you know how I just came to town a few months ago and haven't really gotten to know anybody or, or done much since I've been here other than spending time with you. Yeah, well, there's, there's a reason and it, it makes me feel horrible, but there's a reason. <sighs> I'm having trouble getting this out. Okay. Pull off the bandaid. Um, I'm a succubus. You know that that weird pull that you feel when you're around me? There's there's a reason for that, and it's not just because you like me. It's it's supposed to happen. That's kind of what I'm supposed to do. I just got the job of coming down here. You're my you're my first assignment. And I know um I know that sounds really horrible. And I'm sorry. I, I've basically been lying to you for weeks. At least I was at first because I was supposed to. That, that was my job. Um, but as I've gotten to know you, I, I don't know if I can do this anymore. Um, what was I supposed to do? Well, I was supposed to, <clears throat> I was supposed to seduce you. Don't laugh. Why are you laughing? That's not funny. That's my job. See, I suck at it. And that's why you think it's funny that I would seduce you. Because I just can't do that. I mean, I, I did try that one time and it went really badly. And we ended up laughing and yeah. So I was working up to it, but. I don't want to now. Why are you not angry about this? I mean, I, I basically just told you I'm not actually your girlfriend, that I've I've been lying to you for weeks and that I had an ulterior motive in even being with you and you, you don't seem all that upset. Well, I have been thinking about what I'm going to do. Because no, you're right, I'm not supposed to tell you. I'm not supposed to break my cover like this. Um, my plan was to tell you and then go back to my bosses and quit. Well, that's the thing. I don't know if you can actually quit being a succubus. I mean, it's kind of what I was born to be, but I went through all the training and it takes a long time to be allowed into the field like this. So I'm not actually trained to be anything else and I'm not exactly human. So I don't know, but I can't do this. And as soon as I tell the powers that be, they're, well, <laughs> they're not going to be as nice about it as you seem to be. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I did this, that I was dishonest. I do actually care about you. That's why I can't do this anymore. <laughs> well, I, I guess, I mean, as your girlfriend, the seduction part might, well, probably would happen eventually, but I don't want that to happen to you. No, no, I, I couldn't stand it if you were hurt like that. Well, it doesn't do that, but it, 
it wouldn't leave you in very good shape. Um, when it happens the first time, it's like an explosion goes through your mind. It's like every pleasure center you've ever had just goes into overload, right? But then something happens after and you start to feel hungover and you start to feel forgetful. Things get fuzzy because I'll have tapped into your energy and started draining it slowly. <laughs> well, the reality is after a victim has succumbed to his succubus, that's pretty much all he wants to do. It's the only thing clear in his mind. It's, it's the only thing that he can think about is being with her again. And he becomes less and less of himself and she gets stronger and stronger and takes more and more of his energy. And eventually he has nothing left at which time she leaves. That's, that's how it works. We're not a very nice group of people. <clears throat> well, my aunt was one of the best and she told me so many stories about her victims, her assignments. Sorry, we call them assignments. I call them victims because it's a horrible thing to do to somebody, but the actual term is assignments. She's told me all about how it got easier with every assignment to take their energy faster and faster, which means the experience was worse and worse for the men. And I just, I don't, I don't want to do that to you. Not if I can help it. And I can help it by, by quitting. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> no. There's no compromise. If I take too long to complete my assignment, there will be consequences. So it's not like I can even just stay here with you and avoid that part. <laughs> but I just, I can't. So... I don't actually know what they're going to do because I don't think this has ever happened in recent memory anyway. So from what I read in our book of lore, it's basically our rule book, any succubus that either fails or refuses to complete their assignment will be cast out. Yeah. Um. Made human. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> well, I mean, you know what? They always make that sound like the worst thing ever. Like being human is just terrible. <sighs> but I'm beginning to think it wouldn't be. I don't know what I would do. I'd have to go to school or get a job or something, <laughs> but <sighs> and I think the thing that I'm most afraid of is that when I'm human and I no longer have powers then you won't care about me at all. You won't want to be with me and I'll be on my own which would serve me right. <laughs> I do care about you. Well, I can't be sure if you actually mean that or if it's just what I do. Oh. See, I don't know if magic made you do that or if you wanted to. I know when we get emotional or upset or anything, our pull gets stronger. <laughs> mm. 
Well, I am magic, silly. That's that's the point. Oh, <laughs> that's the kind of magic you mean. Why are you being so sweet about this? <sighs> I think that's the worst thing you could have said to me right now. As much as, as much as I wanted to hear it and have wanted to hear it. Um. I, I love you too. You know that, right? That's why I'm doing this. Because I wasn't supposed to fall in love with my assignment, but I, I did. <sighs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. It's the only thing I've ever known, but I don't know. No, no. When I'm cast out, when I'm made human, from what I understand, I won't have any contact with them anymore. It'll be like they don't exist. Well, we don't really have families. There's the ones that are responsible for you and teach you and guide you as you grow into who you're supposed to be, but It's not an emotionally driven world. We don't form attachments to each other. Because of what we do, everything is superficial. There's no real genuine caring, which is another reason that being with you has been so incredible because I didn't know that that kind of feeling could exist. And it does. They think emotion is weakness. And me quitting is just going to reinforce that because why would you give up something so quote-unquote wonderful or something as silly as love. Love doesn't mean anything. It doesn't accomplish anything in their minds. So no, I won't, I won't miss anybody. There won't be anybody that I have to leave behind and I'll just be on my own. So <laughs> I won't be. I won't be on my own. <sighs> right. I only hope that's true when it's all over, that you're still with me, that you still want to be with me. Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> I like the sound of that. We'll we'll figure it out, I guess. Um a job or like I said, school. I mean, I'd love to learn. So I like the sound of that. <laughs> Yeah, I think I am okay. I don't think the coming conversation is going to be easy, but I'm definitely okay. I'm better off than I thought I would be at this point after deciding to do this. So, thank you. No, no, I won't. I won't miss the magic. You know why? I have something better than magic. I have love. And I have you. <laughs> At this point, I mean, everything else just feels like unnecessary details, you know? <laughs>